Good evening YouTube fam. Now I wanted to show you some more inner workings of the uh, vintage Reebok pumps. And also have a gripe while I'm at it. But yeah, we'll start with this. This is real Hexalite from 1991. Super soft. Super responsive. Got a bit of water in because uh, I cleaned it off. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Now these are from some, uh, uh, what are they? One of the, like a court victory. This is a, uh, a collar. Collar pump. Yeah. Get that all like pissed on it. Now these are from ninety one as well, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Now you can see the difference between how it was made then and now. Look how cheap it looks today compared to then. It's night and day, isn't it? See how loud that was. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Compared to the uh, the pumps you get today. I'll do this one for you as well. Unbelievable. Also, what I've just found out, I mean, if you see my videos, I've told you about the uh, the ERS being different today than what it was. I just didn't realise how different until now. I cut some out. Well, here's your uh, original ERS. And look at this. It's just for show. It's nothing. I mean, I knew it was like a phone, but I didn't know it was that, that bad. No responsiveness to it at all. It's absolutely ridiculous. Compared to these. I stood on these the other day and, uh, yeah, super responsive. The old ERS system is. This is pathetic. Look at that. That's what you get in your Reebok pumps. I should email them, really. This is ridiculous. And you've got half of uh, a high trail tube in that. This is what uh, sticks on the heel. Yeah. Ridiculous. This is how it should look. So yeah, the inner workings of the Reebok pump.
they do not make them how they used to. I'll do you now. Thanks for watching.